it's the second semi-final here at the Crocs Lady Mathematics Contest. We have four more slots left in the finals. Which of these six contestants will make it to the finals? Find out on today's episode of the Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest. Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest was created to celebrate outstanding mathematical geniuses in Nigerian secondary schools and also to highlight the unique importance of mathematics in our everyday lives. Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest is brought to you by Crocs Learning. E-learning at your place, pace, and price. Like we did in the first semi-final, our contestants have each been given topics that they need to present to show us how we can fix our Africa. You all have 90 seconds to pitch the relevance of your topic to the growth and development of Nigeria and Africa as a whole. First of all, we'll start with Obina. My name is Enable Obina, and I'm here to discuss on the meaning, relevance, and importance of cybersecurity to the development of Africa. The meaning of cybersecurity, cybersecurity is the protection of computer systems and networks from, the, from information disclosure, theft of or damage to the hardware, software, or electronic data. The main importance of cybersecurity is how it protects all categories of data from theft or damage by internet forces and hackers. The main goal of it is to protect all forms of sensitive information from those who may use it for nefarious purposes and reasons. Who do you think is responsible for managing cybersecurity, in your opinion? The government or private organizations? In my opinion, yes. the government should have all control over cybersecurity. All control? Yes, both in the strengthening, integrating, and controlling of every phase that it goes through. We'll move on to the next student for their presentation. My name is Anla Diyan and I'm here to talk about the meaning, relevance, and importance of artificial intelligence to the development of Africa. So how intelligent can computers become? What can these computers offer to the African continent? These questions can only be answered by artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence can be defined as uh, intelligence that, that may established by machines that may make or imitate the intelligence of humans. This can have many advantages due to speed and calculation capacity. So what is the importance of artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is important because it reduces human error, has 24 7 availability because robots cannot get tired, and it facilitates repetitive work, ETC. So what do, so what do these importance have to do with Nigeria? Why do we need them? Because Africa is known for bribery and corruption, insecurity, and many others. You mentioned bribery and corruption. How will artificial intelligence help curb bribery and corruption? Well, in both the public and the private sector, corruption has been very dominant in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. So if robots that are intelligent are used to replace some of the jobs, it would really reduce the number of bribes and the level of corruption in our society. Thank you very much, Ayafe. That was wonderful. Up next, we have Chidubem. My name is Dubai Mwafo, and I'm presenting on pathology in relation to the development of Africa. So simply, pathology is like the study of diseases, like the diseases, their causes and their symptoms. Like you can say like it, everything about a disease, like how to cure it, the characteristics of the disease. For every one million people in Africa, there's one pathologist. That clearly states, in fact, the shortage of pathologists in Nigeria. And this is quite disturbing because in, in Africa, you find many countries with a high disease burden due to insufficient financing. In 2014, 27 doctors came together to form a group called ASAP advances, advance, to advance pathology in Nigeria, in Africa rather. Their common goal is to increase and improve access to diagnosis of pathology. Thank you. Beyond getting the right facilities, what else do you think we need to put in place to improve the pathology uh, industry in Nigeria? Pathology programs should be put in place to show how important it is. Facts should be stated about how people that are suffering are getting the wrong diagnosis. And trust me, people, people engage in pathology. Because in the medical department, no, people are into neurosurgery or medicine, stuff like that, but then nobody really focuses, not many people really focus on pathology as a whole. Up next, we have Chioma. I am Chiamo Bipel from Marish Comprehensive College in Teje. I'm here to present on the topic meaning relevance and importance of neurosurgery to the development of Africa. 
The surgery is a medical specialty concerned with the di prevention, diagnosis, surgical treatment, and re rehabilitation of disorders that affect the nervous system. A physician who specializes in, the, in neurosurgery is called a neurosurgeon. Hydrocephalus, burning tumors, and so on are examples of neurosurgical diseases. Brief history of neurosurgery in Africa. Neuroscience began with me at anatomy and neurosurgery in Egypt more than 5,000 years ago. Later on, neurosurgery centers were established, were established in North Africa. The more neurosurgical professionals that are involved in the mission of improving unprivileged health care in Africa, the better advocacy and outcome we can expect in the near future. Thank you. How do you think that we can inspire other young people like you to go into the line of neurosurgery? We can inspire them by introducing neurosurgery as a topic to them in schools, arrange some seminars for them to teach them on the importance of neurosurgery. Up next, we have Faithful. My name is Wakna Faithful Chikamso, and I am presenting on the topic of meaning, relevance, and importance of entrepreneurship to the development of Africa. Firstly, what is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is an action of creating business or businesses while taking on financial risks with the hope of making profits. It's also the creation and extraction of value from a product or service which is based on the style of system of the entrepreneur and his plan from the onset. Entrepreneurship requires a lot of sacrifice which will enable an entrepreneur to manage risks during the long run. Risks which include political and environmental which have to do with the laws and location of the business and also financial risks which have to do with the ability of the entrepreneur to source capital. In conclusion, entrepreneurship should be encouraged by all because it will help to curb the menace of the society, like insecurity, crimes, unemployment, and poverty, thereby promoting all around development in the world, especially in Nigeria and Africa at large. Thank you. How do you think the government can help entrepreneurs? With funding, creation of little businesses, and employment of the youths. We've had six amazing presentations from our semi-finalists today. We'll leave our judges to review and after the break, we'll talk about which contestant is going to be winning the prize for the best pitch on today's show. Do not invite strangers into your home. Use Crux Learning for all your e-learning activities. What is polygon? Heptagon. Correct. Solve for x in the equation. X is greater than or equal to 5. Correct. Expand and simplify. 2x. 2xy minus 12. Vacancies. Job title, 2022 Africa's Mathematics Champion. Reward, scholarship worth $10,000 and bragging rights. Requirements, applicants should be African by blood, bath or descent, respective of country of residence, should be in year 11 in a regular high school, should not be more than 18 years old, must be ambitious and enjoy playing with numbers. If you meet the above requirements, please visit www.mathematics.cruxlearning.africa to register for the Crux Learning Africa Mathematics Contest 2022. Entry closes Sunday, October 24, 2021, ahead of the global qualifying CBT examination, scheduled from Monday 25th to Sunday 31st October 2021. Add 20 meters to kilometers, expressing your answer in meters. Crux Learning. E-learning at your place, pace and price. For all your learning requirements, access the best tutors globally. Welcome back. You're still watching Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest Season 1. Our contestants are refreshed and ready to get on with the quick on buzzer round. Remember, speed and accuracy are very important. Are you ready? Question 1. Factorize P raised to power 2 plus 5P. Options P into bracket P raised to power 2 plus 5 close bracket. P into bracket 1 plus 5 close bracket, P raised to power 2 into bracket 1 plus 5 close bracket, P into bracket P plus 5 close bracket. Factorize P raised to power 2 plus 5, P. Well done, guys. You've all imputed the correct answer. The correct answer is D, P into bracket P plus 5. We'll move on to question 2 now. Simplify. P raised to the power 4 over P raised to the power minus 2. Options P raised to the power minus 6, P raised to the power 6, P raised to the power minus 2, P raised to the power 2. Simplify P raised to the power 4 over P raised to the power minus 2. The correct answer is P raised to the power 6, and you all gave the correct answer. Well done. Move on to question 3 now. The highest single digit squared number is options 2, 4, 9, 1. The highest single digit squared number is. 
Chema, what was your answer? Oh. Two. Okay. I think you agree with her. Mm. What's your answer? Nine. 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 Are you confident? Yes, ma'am. All right. The correct answer is option C, nine. Well done. Obinna and Shiamai try to pick up with the next set of questions. Move on to question four now. Solve the equation A into bracket A minus one, close bracket equals zero. Options, one minus one, zero, one, zero minus one, minus one, minus one. Solve the equation A into bracket A minus one, close bracket equals zero. The correct answer is B, zero, one, and you all gave the correct answer, well done. We'll move to the next question, question five. Subtract three whole number one over four from minus two whole number one over three. Options, five whole number five over 12, minus 5.5833333, 4.5833333, minus four whole number seven over 12. Subtract three one over four from Minus two whole number one over three. Should have been. What was your answer? Minus five point eight three 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 three. Okay, should have been. Can you tell us how you worked it out? I converted everything to a fraction to decimal rather. Okay. Then I did the subtraction. We are halfway through the quick unbuzz around. If you need to pick up with speed and accuracy, you have your chance. Question six. A box contains five oranges and ten grapes. Find the probability of picking an orange from the box. We'll take a quick break right now. After the break, we'll get on with the next set of six questions from the Quick on Buzz Around. Please stay with us. For all your learning requirements, access the best tutors globally. What to consider while hiring a tutor? How then do you know how to pick the one that is best suited for your child? Here are a few things to look out for when selecting a tutor for your child. 1. How competent or tech savvy is the tutor? 2. How safe and secure is your child while with the tutor, physically or remotely? 3. How reasonable is the act of granting the tutor unfettered access to your home? 4. How can you monitor, revalidate independently and consistently the tutor's method of teaching your child? 5. How do you know that what you're paying for a tutor is competitive and value for money? With Crux Learning, you are sure of a fast and efficient solution to your after-school online learning needs based on Crux Learning key values, which are competence, convenience, safety, quality and value for money. Crocs Learning, e-learning at your place, pace and price. Do not invite strangers into your home. Use Crocs Learning for all your e-learning activities. Welcome back. We're still watching Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest Season 1, the second semi-final. We've gone through the quick on buzz around first half. And now it's time for the second half of the quick on buzz around. We'll move on to question 7. Reduce 4 over 100 to its lowest term. Options, 1 over 50, 1 over 25, 2 over 25, 5 over 8. Reduce 4 over 100 to its lowest term. The correct answer is B, 1 over 25. You gave the correct answer, well done. We'll move on to question 8. Simplify 2 over A equals A minus 2. Options, a raised to the power 2 plus 2a equals 0. A raised to the power 2 plus 2a plus 2 equals 0. A raised to the power 2 minus 2a minus 2 equals 0. A raised to the power 2 minus 2a plus 2 equals 0. Simplify 2 over a equals a minus 2. Chema, what do you think the correct answer is? A raised to the power 2 minus 2a minus 2 equals 0. All right, we'll move on to the next question, question 9. Simplify. Into bracket 3a minus 2b, close bracket minus, into bracket minus 4a minus 2b. Options 8a, 3a plus b, 7a, 7a minus b. The correct answer is C, 7a. You all gave the correct answer. Well done. Question 10. 
Find the mean of the set of data. 7, 3, 8. Options. 5, 3, 6, 4. Find the mean of the set of data. 7, 3, 8. The correct answer is C6. Well done, you all gave the correct answer. Move on to question 11. Which of the following is an acute angle? Options, 260 degrees, 34 degrees, 185 degrees, 96 degrees. Which of the following is an acute angle? The correct answer is 34 degrees. You all gave the correct answer, well done. We're moving now to question 12. A road starts at school and it goes 12 kilometers due north. It then goes five kilometers due east and ends in a church. Find the distance between the church and the school. Options, nine kilometers, seven kilometers, 17 kilometers, 13 kilometers. Faithful, can you explain to us how you arrived at your answer? Due north and due east, mm -hmm. creating a right angle. So using Pythagoras here, I am. You get some. Well, you're right. The correct answer is D13. I must say you've all done an exceptional job, but only three contestants will make it to the Crocs flash moment. We'll take a quick break, and after the break, we'll find out which of our contestants will be making it to the Crocs flash moment. Stay with us. Do not invite strangers into your home. Use Crocs Learning for all your e-learning activities. What is polygon? Heptagon. Correct. Solve for x in the equation. x is greater than or equal to 5. Correct. Expand and simplify. 2x, 2xy minus 12. Vacancies. Job title, 2022 Africa's Mathematics Champion. Reward, scholarship worth $10,000 and bragging rights. Requirements, applicants should be African by blood, bath or descent, respective of country of residence, should be in year 11 in a regular high school, should not be more than 18 years old, must be ambitious and enjoy playing with numbers. If you meet the above requirements, please visit www.mathematics.cruxlearning.africa to register for the Crux Learning Africa Mathematics Contest 2022. Entry closes Sunday, October 24th, 2021, ahead of the global qualifying CBT examination, scheduled from Monday 25th to Sunday 31st October 2021. Add 20 meters to kilometers, especially your answer in meters. Crux Learning. E-learning at your place, pace and price. For all your learning requirements, access the best tutors globally. Welcome back. You're still watching the Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest Season 1 Second Semi-Final. We had amazing presentations from all our semi-finalists today and our judges are ready with the results. The winner with the best pitch on today's episode is Faithful. Please give him a round of applause. Well done, Faithful. You did a great job with the presentation. Now it's time to find out which one of you will be stepping off the stage and which ones will get one more step towards the final. We have three contestants tied at 50 points. Two contestants at 55 points and one contestant at 40 points. Chioma, unfortunately, your journey on the Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest ends here. You've done an amazing job so far and we wish you the best going forward. Please give her a round of applause as she steps off the stage. <laughs> it's time for us to proceed to the tiebreaker round. Chidubem, Faithful, Obina, are you ready? Yes. Two meters of a textile costs 3,000 Naira. What is the cost of 12 meters? Options. 18,000 Naira, 6,000 Naira, 12,000 Naira, 24,000 Naira. Remember guys, speed and accuracy are very crucial at this point. The correct answer is 18,000 Naira and you all gave the correct answer. Next question. Simplify into bracket 3 plus 5t close bracket all over 2h minus into bracket 2t minus 2 close bracket all over 4h. Options 2t minus 1 over h, 2 into bracket t plus 1 all over h, 2t plus 2 over h, t plus 1 over h.
Question three. A number is multiplied by three and the result is twice the number added to two. Find the number. Options. Two, six, four, one. A number is multiplied by three and the result is twice the number added to two. Find the number. IFA, you have 55 points. Success, 55. And Faithful will be joining them in the Crocs Flash moment. Thank you, Chidibem and Obinna. You've done a great job so far. But your joining of the Crocs Learning Mathematics contest ends here. Please give them a round of applause as they step off the stage. <laughs> IFA, Success and Faithful. Are you ready for the Crocs Flash moment? Yes, ma'am. It's your turn to shine, IFA. How many significant figures are there in 1.009? One. Incorrect. Solve one, Skip. one. Solve. Skip. The fairly used car cost 310,000 mm -hmm. naira and was repaired with 88,000 naira. Was, then was sold for 414,000. Um, Correct. Expand. Um, 2x squared y minus 3xy. Correct. Simplify um, one. 2 whole number 1 over 4. Correct. Uh, skip. Expand and simplify yeah. x. Incorrect. Um, 4. Correct. What's the range of data 3, 6, 1, 11. 7? Correct. If a equals minus one. 5. And um, minus, minus 5. Incorrect. Find the HDF of 13x. 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 I need an answer. Uh, oh. Given that 60 degrees is the answer. 13. Incorrect. What number will you give 44 um, when subtracted from 20? Um, minus 20? Minus 24. Correct. A room is 3 meters high and has a volume of 60 meters. Calculate the area of the floor of the room. 20. Correct. Thank you, Ayafe. Success. It's your turn to shine. Express 3 over 5 as a percentage. 60%. Incorrect. How many perfect squares are there from 1 to 100? Skip. Convert 70 degrees east to 3 digit bearing. 70, 70 degrees. Correct. A hockey field measures 40 meters by 30 meters. Find the distance all round to the field. 140, 140 meters. Correct. Find the average of all even numbers from 1 to 10, inclusive. Skip. Which angle is supplementary to 70 degrees? 20 degrees. Incorrect. Solve the inequality. Three into bracket Skip. one. How many square tiles of length 20 centimeters are needed to fill a floor of one meter by four meters? 20. Incorrect. Expand into bracket X. S square minus one. Incorrect. Expand into bracket X minus four, all close brackets, response. X square two. minus eight X minus 16. Plus 16. Simplify into bracket 6x minus 15, all over 3. 2x minus 5. Correct. Well done, success. Are you ready, faithful? Yes, good mistress. We start now. The area of a rectangle is 16 meters squares and breadth four. is 4 meters. Correct. What is the multiplicative inverse of minus 7? Minus 1 over 7. Correct. Find the perimeter of a square of length 5 for 20.4. Correct. Evaluate into bracket 2. Skip. Find the perimeter of a square whose length is 40 meters. Mm -hmm. 160. Correct. Simplify 3 over 4 of 1 over 2. 3 over 8. Correct. Simplify 3, mm -hmm. whole number, 3 over 4. 3, 1 over 2. Correct. Simplify 3 over 8 divided by Skip. 5 number. The distance all around the room is 60 meters if the length is twice the breadth, twice the length. Correct. If 60 degrees and an angle x are complementary. Yes. Correct. Expand and simplify. 1 minus x squared. Incorrect. Simplify x into bracket y, y minus 2, close bracket plus 4 5 x, y. x, y minus 2 x. Correct. Find the mode of the given set of numbers 11, 1, 2, 0, 4. 4. Correct. What's the pH here for 30? Correct. A ladder leans against a wall to the height of 5 meters. Correct. Given that n equals 5, solve for m in the equation 5 m minus 3 0. equals 15. Incorrect. <laughs> You've all done a great job. However, only two contestants will be moving to the final. Regardless of the outcome, regardless what I say next, you are all brilliant mathematicians and you will go very far in life. It's time to find out which two of you made it and which one will be going home. I am fair the guy that's always smiling. You're currently on 90 points. Faithful, you're currently on 120 points. Success, you're at 70 points. You've done an amazing job so far, 
but your journey on the Crocs Learning Mathematics Contest ends here. Please give him a round of applause as he exits the stage. Congratulations to Faithful and Ayofe. You have taken two seats in the finals. You need to work harder and get ready to compete with other brilliant students in the finals. We wish you all the best. This has no doubt been an educative episode to all the contestants who could not make it to the final. We wish you the best going forward. We'll wrap it up with a quote from Albert Einstein. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. So keep your hopes up for tomorrow and get back on the Crocs Learning Platform to keep learning for a better tomorrow. Until we meet again next time, stay focused and stay safe. Bye for now.